Hi, it's Kate Stoneman with YogaHealer.com, and I'm here to talk about sleep issues and getting better sleep. Now, many of you know that, that poor sleep is linked to diseases such as obesity, uh, heart issues, blood pressure issues, safety issues like safety in the home and, and at work. It's linked to having bad, um, bad mood, which leads towards depression and just the overall feeling of, of not being at peak performance. So there's a lot of issues related really a lot of issues related to sleep. We also know that 30% of children aren't getting enough sleep right now in the United States, which to me signifies that our culture is more or less out of balance and doesn't understand the sleep-waking cycle. And that's what I want to talk to you about, because this is a very simple way of understanding this pendulum swing that we talked about in the first video, about when we get up in the morning to really, really move our body so that our physical body actually has a lot of energy flowing in it. Well, we also want to look at what's happening at the end of the day. Now, according to Eastern medicine, our energy naturally goes down at the end of the day, usually between 6 and 10 p.m. If we follow that cycle without eating a big meal at the end of the day or, or eating a stimulating dessert like chocolate ice cream at the end of the day, naturally we're going to feel the slowing down. If we're not plugged into screen time videos, uh, watching watching this YouTube video, etc. at the end of the day, our nat energy is naturally going to go down. So you've probably experienced this when you've been camping, right? You go camping, the sun goes down, you're not plugged in, you go to bed earlier. That's the natural cycle. When you go to bed then before 10, you're going to sleep heavier that whole night. Your body's naturally attuned to the energy cycle. That energy goes down before 10 p.m. Now, if you wait past 10 p.m., energy goes up again. And this upward energy, this fire energy, is an energy of detoxification, where if you're in a deep sleep rhythm, your body's naturally going to detoxify itself. And you're going to wake up and you're going to want to have, a, your body's going to naturally want to have a bowel movement and you move whatever your body's removed throughout the night out through your out through your bowels. Very, very simple energy cycle. Most people I know though, most people I work with are staying up past 10 o'clock and then they're having issues with elimination the next day. They're having issues with energy the next day where they're reaching for caffeine or sugar or the yogi's favorite, dark chocolate, in order to feel more of that alive brightness which isn't naturally occurring for them. So it's very simple. In the first video you learned to wake up and move your body. What I want you to focus on in this video, the top tip in this one, is to actually wind down. So that between 9 and 10 p.m. you're winding yourself down. You're starting to unplug. and You're literally unplugging all the sense organs, right, so that you naturally attune to the, to the deeper energetic current of rest and relaxation. What this might look like on a practical note is simply soaking your feet in some water, uh, during the summer or taking a bath in the winter. It might look like doing an oil massage on the bottoms of your feet or even your whole body, which will soothe your skin and get you back into your body and out, out of uh, the worldly thoughts and ideas and things that are going on out there. It'll tune you more in, in here so you can feel your energy slow down. You might notice that you can't have a big dinner and go to bed early, that it feels too uncomfortable in your belly when you're lying down. So you're gonna have to move your dinner earlier, I generally recommend being done eating by about 6.30 at night, so that naturally by 9.30 there's not a lot of food in your stomach and you can naturally start to, to wind down. You'll be feeling like, ah, I'm relaxed, I'm at ease. Now another tip for winding down at night is to simply not engage in intense discussions, not engage in intense ideas or making things happen, not try to finish your to-do list but actually let yourself just enjoy. Enjoy this life that you've cultivated. Enjoy the people that you're spending time with. And don't try to solve any problems or work anything out or deal with your financial budgets or anything like that, but just actually enjoy each other. Enjoy the sunset, enjoy the birds, enjoy the, enjoy the moon. Just let yourself start to wind down and unplug so you can feel the natural cycle and get yourself in bed before 10 with lights out. One thing that I almost always do before I go to bed is I just meditate for even a few minutes. If I'm, if I'm really tired, I'll just sit up in bed for a few minutes and simply let the day start to decompress. Let my mind start to shift into a more natural state of energy. 
and sometimes this process of decompression what will happen is that you're taking that process out of your sleep so then your sleep doesn't have to do the process of decompressing the mind you're doing it before you go to sleep if you go over to the body thrive meditations on the yogahealer.com in the in the shop you'll find that there's a sleep meditation and you can do that you can just simply listen to it and it'll start to do this decompression so that when you actually turn out the light and prepare yourself for sleep that you're walking yourself through a very simple step-by-step -step process that allows you to start to unplug so that the sleep that you're going to get is of a better quality then when you wake up in the morning start to move start to do your exercise run breathe deep whatever it takes to start to get your body channels going so you start to swing the pulsation back in the other direction now for those with young children and teens you might notice there's a lot of resistance to changing this so just change yourself first and over time it'll be easier to get the others in the household more on this healthy rhythm over time and I promise you that by simply attuning to these natural rhythms if you look then at what you're doing in the next week or two as you start to do this you'll start to notice a shift on a deeper level and that's the shift you want to start to commit to over time